separation, but I mean, it was it was right there. Uh, obviously, everyone wants to talk about me sitting from the seven minute, seven and a half minute mark to the three and a half minute mark. Um, I know one question uh, someone asked was like, did, this, did, "Did Coach Kerr talk to me about that?" Absolutely not. Uh, nor did nor did he need to. I I be I be shocked. When when teams, you know, I've been struggling, as we all can see. Oh, I played a better game tonight, overall game, but definitely was struggling from the field, struggling on the offensive end. Um, and I'd be shocked when teams feel like, oh, man, um, something is working for us, but we have to go back to this guy because of a resume, because of a contract, because of whatever reason people feel that they need to go back. This is a playoffs, man. I don't get caught up in uh, – as long as we win the game, whether I'm playing or Wiggs is playing or Bloom is playing or whoever else is playing, you can throw Q-Dog out there. Q's playing. Uh, for those of you that don't know who Q-Dog is, that's our sister coach, Bruce Frazier, uh, most interested man in sports. You can throw whoever out there. As long as we win, I really don't care. And so the whole notion of like, oh, man, you have to check in uh, with, with certain guys if, you, if you're – going to take them out the game or if you know if you think it's better for the team I think that's ridiculous I watch teams every year in the playoffs um, not sub guys that they know they should sub and they lose and so the fact that you know Steve went away from me for a little while was I pissed off and frustrated absolutely like seven minutes to go in a extremely important game. You know, you can't go down 3-1. You don't want to go down 3-1. Um, and I'm coming out of the game. I was livid. But uh, I credit my teammates, Juan Toscano Anderson. And see, this is where, you know, when you're trying to win a championship, this is where everything matters and everyone matters. I credit Juan Toscano Anderson. He was in my ear. Not only was he in my ear the whole night, but when I was frustrated, when I came out the game at the seven and a half minute mark, he was in my ear. Um, Chris Chios was in my ear. Gary Payton was in my ear. And, and, and it was huge because I was able to respond due to their positive energy that they were pouring into me. I was able to respond and come up with a few big plays, a couple assists, a couple offensive rebounds, a um, couple stops. And so credit to those guys. Everyone has an impact. And... It was huge of them to keep my mind in the game, and they kept my mind there, and I was able to contribute in a way that could help us win. So uh, big shouts out to those guys. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. And so, uh, like I said, for those that were wondering, no, Steve didn't talk to me, nor did he need to talk to me. Um, that's just the way it goes. If someone else is getting it done more, then that's just that. And I can live with that. And I have to be ready to help the team whenever that is. And, you know, it it came back around to me. And that was that. Now, I think for me, going home in game five, 